Gemma 3, which is the new update from Google, versus Grok, versus Chachi, versus Claude. Which one is the best? Now, if you're not familiar with what Gemma 3 is, let me pull up an example right here. There's actually a whole section inside the AI Profit Boardroom on exactly how it works, etc., what it is. But essentially, this is the latest model from Google. And Google said this is the most capable model you can run on a single GPU. Like you can see, you can actually run it locally as well. And you can see the benchmarks here. So according to the chatbot arena, it's outperforming DeepSeek version 3, outperforming O3 Mini, Llama 3, Mistral Large, and Gemma 2. And you can see it's right up there with DeepSeek R1. So we're going to be testing it and comparing it versus Grok, ChatGPT, and Claude. And if you want to get free access to this, it is completely free to use, then you can get access at aistudio.google.com. So let's get straight into this. First thing I'm going to say here is build. And, and do you know what? I'm going to take some prompts that I've previously tested just to give this a fair run. So first thing that we can do is we're going to do a little reasoning challenge. All right, I'm going to say there's a tree on the other side of a river in winter. How can I pick an apple? All right, and we'll test it for reasoning first of all. So the main thing we're looking for here is can it think for itself? I'm not going to use a reasoning model inside any of these other models either. So we're just going to be comparing like the basic models simply because as far as I'm aware, Gemma 3 is not a reasoning model. But you can see how it's coming up with an answer here. Actually, it's pretty impressive the answer it's come up with like already. You can see the reasoning step by step, and it's given us multiple different solutions, right? So that's the main thing that we're looking for is can it understand and can it look at it from a logical way? And then also can it problem solve for itself? Now that's a really detailed answer. And it's the simplest answer. Apples don't stay on trees forever. Wait until spring, summer or fall when the river might freeze or the water level is lower, or you can simply wade across a boat, right? Now, let's have a look here. Has it actually figured out that apple trees don't have, there we go, right? It says it's winter. Apples aren't typically ripe or even on the tree in winter. The riddle implies there is an apple, but it might be a trick, All right? So it's figured that out. Plus it's given us loads of different solutions here. Pretty practical and also it's straight to the point. So pretty good answer right there. Let's see what we got back from Grok. Grok is not bad. It's not given us as many ideas as you can see, but still not bad at all. ChatGPT says use a drone, but it hasn't figured out that actually in winter apples typically don't grow on trees. So that's coming in last so far. And let's just check out Claude. And Claude figures it out straight away. So it's like it's winter and apple trees typically don't bear fruit in winter. So when I look at this, I actually think the most practical solutions came from Gemma 3. Grok did pretty well too. Claude figured it out straight away, so that's coming in second. So far, we've got Gemma 3 coming in first, Claude second, Grok, I would say, joint second, ChatGPT 4, I didn't get it at all. All right. Now, bear in mind, this is a free model, so you get free access to Gemma 3 as well, which is super powerful. And we'll move on to the next example. And we're going to say, okay, let me pull this up. I'm going to give it this prompt which I usually use for content writing. Link in the comments description to the AI Profit Boardroom if you want to get all my best AI SEO automations. I'm going to plug this into the chat here and we'll say create an SEO optimized article for this, keyword equals, and we'll put SEO training London. We'll plug that in. We'll do that inside Claude, inside Grok. I'll probably have to sign into Grok on there directly. We'll continue with X. And then we're also doing the same thing in the background with ChatGPT. I'm going to start a new conversation for each, just so that it's got more context, etc. All right, we're logged into Grok as well. Let's plug that in. So same prompt in each. And basically what we're testing for is which is the best at creating content. Now, usually my personal preference is using Claude. Claude seems to be the best when it's creating content. But let's see what we get back. So Claude, SEO training in London, the ultimate guide. So Pretty nicely written right there. Let's grab the text, see what word count we got out. So it's come back to us with 1,000 words. I think we did ask for, how many words did we ask for? Maybe we didn't give it a word count. All right, so that's 1,000 words. Let's see what we got back from Gemma. Gemma is still writing the content. It's a bit slower, 
the content is pretty nice, nicely formatted as well. So for example, why London needs specific SEO expertise, competitive, really competitive. You're up against established brands, pretty nicely humanized. Let's have a look at Grok. Let's check this out. This is a super long article. Let's see how long this is. That's coming out at 1,200 words. Grok is, Gemma 3 is still writing. The only thing I would say with Gemma is it still feels like really AI style text, right? So for example, if you read this first line, are you tired of your website being invisible on Google? Do you feel like everyone is getting clicks while you're stuck on page two or worse? Doesn't feel that humanized. Whereas if you compare it to Claude, which is you're looking for the best SEO training in London that actually delivers results. I've been where you are, right? If you're tired of the same recycled advice that doesn't move the needle, let me share what actually works. That is 10 times better than the intro from Gemma, which still feels like AI fluffy. This is not bad from ChatGPT. Let's see how long the content is. Content is only 650 words. So I'd say the way this is written, it feels a lot nicer than Gemma 3, but it's still not as good as Claude. And then if we have a look at Grok, let's see where we're at. And you can see how it's optimized for the keyword as well. So for example, SEO training in London is front loaded in the title and also in the first line feels very humanized and it reads really nicely probably not quite as nicely as claude but it's up there so i'm going to rate this as claude coming in first grok coming in second chat gpt coming in third and then gemma 3 it really does feel like ai fluff if we read through most of that content so i'm going to stick with claude for that in terms of being the most humanized and so far gemma 3 is not doing that well but hopefully it gets better for it so Let's keep going now and we're going to move on to the next prompt, which is actually what I want to do here is I'm going to see how well humanized the content is, right? So usually I use zero GPT to figure this out. And what we can do is plug in the content from each AI and see which one comes out the most humanized. So let's grab the content from Claude. So we'll close it out, put tech text and we'll see how these perform. All right. So you can see here, Claude's content really humanized, right? It comes out as 0.9% AI detectable, which is pretty impressive to be fair. Bearing in mind, it created a thousand word article and it's not AI detectable at all. Let's check now how Grok performs. So we'll do the same thing. Hey, so many pop-ups on zero GPT is crazy. So we've got the content back and that is coming out at 15%. So it's currently in second place. That's the content from Grok. Let's take the content from ChatGPT. And then after that, we'll check Gemma 3. So that's 19%. All right. So far, in order, Claude comes out 0% human AI detectable. Grok comes out at 15%. ChatGPT came out at 19.39%. And finally, let's check Gemma. So it's actually come out in the order that I rated it as well. So I did say before, Claude came in first, Grok came in second. ChatGPT came in third, which is pretty interesting. So I think to the human eye as well, once you create a lot of content with AI, you just get a feel for whether it's AI written or humanized at all. And there, like I said, Gemma and I felt, sorry, Gemma felt really AI when I was reading through it. It felt like there was a lot of AI fluff in there and zero GPT can feel that too, right? So it says your text is likely human written, but may include parts generated by AI. And that comes out at 39.39%. AI detectable. So in terms of not just the humanization and the writing of the content, but also the actual detectability of it, you can clearly see the chat that Claude is the best for human writing, humanized writing. Grot comes out second, chat GPT comes in third, and Gemma is really lagging behind by quite a long way right there. Now it might perform better when you're running it locally, but I'm just testing it inside AI studio. So you know, you get the feel for it. And as well, it took two minutes to generate this content. Whereas I think Claude was a lot faster when it was generating that content. Plus it created more content for us as an output. All right. Let's keep going now. What else can we do? So I'm going to now test it for coding. So I'm going to say create a self playing snake game using Python with a simple GUI. And I'm actually going to change that to HTML. So we'll test that on each. Let's go back to Gemma. We'll start a new chat here. Same for Claude. Rock. I, 
The only thing I find with Grok is it is this distinctly average compared to Claude, right? I really only use Claude these days. ChatGPT is useful too, but honestly, these days, like Claude is so powerful and so good at writing and coding and giving you outputs back quickly. Plus it's very reliable that I tend to use Claude more than anything these days, but let's see what we get back from Gemma now. Grok has already come back to us. So I think we should be able to run that. Yeah. So we can preview that. So we've got a self-playing snake game there. That is working perfectly. So good job from Grok. Let's test out Claude. Claude is still coding. So is Gemma 3. So let's check out ChatGPT now. We're going to click on preview over here. We'll see what it's, how this performs. So you can see, if you compare the output of Grok versus the output of ChatGPT, see how this is a lot slower and a lot more laggy compared to Grok, which is like way faster when it's doing these outputs. So there's still a big difference see, between these models. So far, Grok is winning. Let's test now Claude. Now, Claude is quite interesting because it actually thinks more about the UI. So you see how here the UI is nice. It's nice. It's got more color ranges. We can actually change the speed so we can dial up the speed or dial it down. We can also pause it, reset it, and control it. So far, it's good, but let's see if it actually works. And that is working perfectly. All right. So far, Claude is winning on that respect, but let's test out now. We've got Gemma. Can we preview it directly inside the chat here? I don't think we can. More options, branch, copy text, markdown. Nah, we don't seem to be able to run it. So what I'm going to do from here is I will grab the HTML, we'll copy that to clipboard, and we'll go over to Live Weave which is a really useful tool for plugging in HTML. We'll plug that in. So to be fair, that is pretty good, but it doesn't work. Look at that game over. Let's see if it works again now, or if it's just going to get stuck every time. Does it work? No, look at that. It's not playing itself. It's just running into a wall over and over again. All right. So if we compare these models, Gemma is coming in last because it doesn't actually work. Like you can see, Claude is coming in first. Like you've got the UI, you've got the controls, you can change the speed. It's even got a title and the colors. Plus the design is much nicer, the front end. I would say it's coming in second just because it's a bit faster than ChatGPT's output and ChatGPT comes in third. So Gemma is not really performing that when it comes to, for example, coding, content creation, when it comes to content humanization. It does perform better on reasoning versus these other models, but that's about it from what I've seen so far. So if you're thinking, okay, should I switch to one to Gemma instead of these other tools? I would stick with Claude. But the other thing to note is yes, Gemma is free, but so is Claude, right? The only thing that you might use Gemma for that is an advantage versus everything else is number one, you can run it locally, right? So for example, with Claude, you can't run that locally. Grok, you can't. ChatGPT, obviously you can't run that locally either. So Gemma is winning there, right? If you want to set up Gemma 3, running it locally, then you can go to our Llama, go to Gemma 3, like you can see, and then I installed the local model yesterday. So I'm just going to open up a Llama here, right? So you need to make sure that you have Olama 3 running in the background. So you can see the icon for Llama right there, Olama. And then if we go over to terminal here, and we type in, and we just need to make sure we have Olama 3 running. All right. And then if we go over to terminal, there we go. You see how that's running now? And we say, okay, what model are you? And we'll zoom in and you can see it says Gemma, right? So if you want to run this locally, if you want to run it offline, etc., then Gemma is the only option out of all these tools. So it comes in first there. And then also, if you want a free API, Claude doesn't have a free API. Neither does Grok, neither does ChatGPT. I've actually got another video on AI agents and building them with Gemma 3. And that's one of its biggest advantages as well. So the way that I usually set up Gemma 3 from what I've tested so far is I will go on to Open Router, right? And I'm going to use Open Router for the API and then use that to build stuff out. So for example, if I'm plugging this into NA10, Let's pull this up. So if you want to build like one click AI agents, we can go into NA10. And then when we're building out a workflow, for example, let's pull this one up. All right. So for example, like this one, then we can use open router and Gemma three there. All right. 
we have a bunch of templates for AI agents inside the AI Profit Builder. So if you go to the classroom, then you go to AI agents, we have tons of different resources here. So you can download all of these and import them into NA10. And then we also have a bunch of others as well. Okay? Now, if you want to use this inside NA10, let me show you exactly how easy this is. So we'll go to create workflow. And for here, we're going to put it in chat, chat trigger. After that, we'll type in AI agent. Like, and then inside the chat model here, we're going to type in open router. From open router, we'll select Gemma. So we'll go with Gemma, like so. You might have to switch between these, so just be careful which one you select. Sometimes, you know, when it's a new model, it doesn't seem to work perfectly. And then from here, we can say, okay, are you working? And again, it says, here we go, let me open this up here. So it says, yes, I am. I am always working as a large language model. I don't clock in or clock out, right? So it's actually got quite a bit of personality as well when it replies. So if you compare Claude versus Grok versus ChatGPT versus Gemma 3, then Gemma 3 is pretty good for building out free AI agents. You can get a free API inside Open Router, and then you can plug that into NA10, whereas the rest of the APIs you're going to have to pay for. So that's one of the biggest advantages. So that's all I would use Gemma 3 for, local and free APIs. But I wouldn't use it, for example, like reasoning or coding or creating content or humanizing content directly inside the chat. So thanks so much for watching. That is the end of this video. If you want to get access to all of the agents, workflows, templates, SAPs, video notes, etc. from today. Feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This is basically a community designed to help you save hundreds of hours and make more money with AI. And inside here, you'll get access to our best email and content automation, social media automations, AI agents, web automation, scraping, AI SEO automations, Q&A call recordings, SAPs, and a crash course to save you hundreds of hours. Top of that, if you have any questions, feel free to ask inside the community here. So you can ask any questions you want inside the community if you get stuck. And if you want live help on a weekly call, just jump on the coaching calls right here. As you can see, feel free to ask us any questions you have. Link in the comments description to that. And also, if you want to get a free SEO strategy session one-to-one, -one, feel free to put in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 bits this month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get free SEO domination plans. You'll get a custom tailored SEO link building plans. So you can generate more lead sales and profits from your website. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building. We'll answer any questions you have. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to outrank your competitors based on what's working for us. Feel free to get that link in the comments and description. Appreciate watching.